Today on MTG Unpacked, it's Jumpstart release weekend. So as I'm filming this, it's July 17th, 2020. So this is airing on the following day. And the patrons will be helping me get stuck into the packs here. So without further ado, let's get into it. I was lucky enough to pick up a box from my local game store. So they're actually selling it for a hundred bucks, which is the regular price. Unfortunately, there are some supply issues, so uh, I think it's creeping up closer to 200 right now. What is this? Okay, mix and match for Maximum Mayhem. I've not seen this. Okay, so let's jump in. So first open all four of your Jumpstart Boosters. Each one has a theme card, and then you basically create two... 40 card decks and battle game one game two that looks tremendously fun doesn't it okay so we have these packs here let's get them out of the box and uh, I would suggest rather than paying over two hundred dollars for these or in that order I would suggest going to your local Walmart or Target or something and uh, pick up some loose packs there. I noticed I had quite a few today, so I'm not sure how many are left over this weekend, but definitely check it out. All right, so let's introduce the patrons. We have Ludux, Constantine, You Mad Bra, 99, Gav. Let's shuffle things over here, getting a bit crowded. Jesse Abax, and finally, Travis Henderson. Okay, so I'm going to grab random packs here, so we're going to get two packs for Lou. Hopefully the two that he will most appreciate. And then two for Umadbra 99. So he is over here. Then two for Gav. And these packs are definitely thicker, there's a lot more cards in here. Uh, one for Jesse and one for... Constantine. Actually, no, sorry, two for Constantine. So let me just double check here. So we've got Lou, Constantine, you mad bra. Gav gets two, and oh, Travis nearly forgot over here. All right, let's get into it. We'll start off here with Lou Dukes. Thank you for being a patron, sir. And stay tuned, your pack openings will be coming later in the month. And we've got the, uh, actually got the Patron Snap Pack video, the live stream, coming up very soon at the time of filming. So stay tuned for that. And I'm having tremendous trouble getting into this first pack here. So not usually that tough. I've opened a bunch of these already. If you've missed some of the other ones, I'll pop a link up in the corner to the complete Jumpstart playlist. Okay, so we start off here with Reanimated. Okay. And is this going to be one of those miscut ones? Yeah, it's a little, little off there. Okay, so we start off with Reanimate, Archfiend's Vessel, Maya Triton. So this is very much a graveyard themed deck. Gormand, Eliminate, Crypt Lurker, Rise Again, Cadaver Imp, Crow of Dark Tidings, Funeral Rites, Miasmic Mummy. Thriving Moor is the Thriving Land for this pack, Tithe Bearer Giant. And here is the rather spooky Swamp. And then we get a bunch of other regular Swamps here, so we won't spend any time on those. Alright, so we'll tuck these in here for Lou. And move on. So what do you think you'll get in his second pack here? So reanimated. Maybe a, a life gain thing would be good to go along with that. So we'll see what we can get here. And what is the best combination you've found so far? I'm sure certain ones work better than others. Okay, this could be a good one. Feathered Friends. Okay, we've got an Archon of Justice, Archon of Redemption, Falconer Adept, Aegis of the Heavens, Dauntless Onslaught, Sky Tether, Concordia Pegasus, Warded Battlements, Gale Swooper, Aerial Assault, Healer's Hawk, Thriving Heath, Celestial Enforcer, and here's the very cool planes with the bird, 
and a bunch of others. Okay, so I think that would be a good combo. And interesting how we have the birds. We've got a crow on the front there, and what is this, like an eagle on the other one. Alright, so there we go. Lou, moving on here. Constantine, thank you for being a patron. So, hoping to get a lot of variety out of this box. The previous video, we actually, every single pack was unique, which was pretty cool. We got to see a bunch of different things. I think they said there's 48 different combinations, and then within those combinations, there are uh, variations. Okay, lands. I have not seen this one yet. Oh, we got a mythic Uvenwald Hydra. Nice one. Cultivate. Awaken a Druid Feral Hydra. Okay, this one would be a good one. Zendikar's Royal Crushing Canopy. Elemental Uprising. Fadia Seer. Not sure how to pronounce that. Fertilid. Sylvan Ranger. Thriving Grove. Vastwood Zendikon. Wild Heart Invoker. And a very nice forest. Okay, so we'll set those aside here. And move on to the next one for Constantine. So, lands. Let's see. So, maybe we'll have a black deck would be good. We could have a Golgari type thing. And here we are, right on cue. Spooky. I have not seen this one either. We start off with a Harvester of Souls, indeed. It's rather spooky. Malefic Scythe Barrier. Or not barrier, barter in blood, bone picker, eternal taskmaster, gristle grinner. What the heck? Never seen that card. Crypt lurker, cage zombie, bone splinters, dutiful attendant, finishing blow, sanitarium skeleton. That'll be us if we don't get the crazy pools thriving more, and a very spooky swamp. All right. So, a nice combo there, actually, for Constantine. I think that one is a winner. So, we'll pop these in here. If I can get everything into the sleeve, barely. Okay, moving on. We have Umad, bra 99. Oh, and by the way, you might notice Constantine, new patron there. Got a signed Jackalope Herd for the first month as a patron. Okay, you mad bra 99 what are we going to get for you, sir? Thank you for being a patron. Walls. Interesting. Okay, it's a green deck. We've got a mythic towering titan. Off to a good start. Assault formation. Carbon caryatid. Gargoyle sentinel. Overgrown battlement. Wall of blossoms. Warmonger's chariot. Portcullis vine. Crushing canopy. Okay, another one. Grave bramble. Thriving grove. Wall of vines. Roving keep, okay, and a wall in a forest. Interesting. Okay, so you might notice the special land. You only get one per pack. All the rest are just regular basic lands. Okay, second one for you, Mad Bra, 99. So, maybe, let's see. Maybe we'll go for white this time. Would that be a good combo? Let's see. No, we've got blue. Okay, this could be interesting. Under the sea. And the cards are a little miscut. Pursued whale. Okay. Talarian kraken. I love the artwork on this one. Very cool. Sigiled starfish. Unstable obelisk. Waker of waves. Creature whale. Rousing reed. Octo prophet. Thriving isle. Voyager's end. Water not wishful merfolk, Aegis Turtle, and yeah, and here's the special undersea land and a bunch of others. Okay, so under the sea and walls. Leave a note in the comments with your favorite half of a deck. Which theme do you like the most and which one would you pair it with? Okay, moving across here to Jesse Abart. Thank you for being a patron. See what we can get for Jesse. Okay, we have heavily armored. Okay, we saw this one before. 
So a white deck. We've got a mythic Machaeus the Lunark. Nice. Tempered veteran, patron of the valiant, supply runners, Basri's solidarity, battlefield promotion, bulwark giant, divine arrow, trusty retriever, light walker, makeshift battalion, thriving heath, Basri's acolyte, and a very nice plains. Okay, so heavily armored for Jesse, which actually goes nicely with his uh, Garrick there. Okay, so we'll pop that behind here like so. And next patron we have Travis Henderson. Thank you for being a patron. Let's get into it. Oh, and by the way, I should mention Jesse Abarx. He has a YouTube channel. I'll pop a link up in the corner. You can check it out. Cracks packs and has a lot of fun. Okay, lightning for Travis Henderson. Thank you for being a patron, sir. What do we got? Okay, ball lightning. So this is the one with tons of lightning cards. Lightning Phoenix, Chain Lightning, Lightning Axe, Living Lightning, Riddle of Lightning, Weaver of Lightning, Tide of Lightning, yet. Yeah. Well, we've got more. Lightning Visionary, a couple of those blokes, Lightning Diadem, Lightning Elemental, Lightning Core, Excavator, Thriving Bluff, that doesn't fit the pattern, and a very nice mountain. Okay, so enjoy Travis. I must say, I think lightning is one of my favorite themes, along with goblins. Okay, they're both red. Next up we have Gav. Thank you for being a patron, sir. So his first uh, sleeve was completely stuffed, so I had to create another one for him that should have plenty of room. Oh, cats! I don't know if we've seen this one yet. Very cool. Lurking Predators. Yes, that's very much on theme. Feline Sovereign. Enlarge. I like the giant cat there. Keeper of Fables. Nature's Way. Canopy Stalker. Pride Malkin. Crushing Canopy. Feral Invocation. Initiate's Companion. Penumbra Bobcat. Thriving Grove. Feral Prowler. And a very nice forest here with some cats hidden there. Okay, so that one is pretty nice. On to the second pack. So what are we going to pair with cats? Wouldn't it be cool if we had dogs as well? I'm pretty sure there's a dogs theme in here. But no, it is spooky. Okay, so black marker. Okay, so this spooky is different than the other one. So you do get some variation. It's very interesting. So Black Market, Malefic Scythe, Bone Picker, Eternal Taskmaster, Gristle Grinner, Liliana's Devotee, I don't remember that one before, Crypt Lurker, Cage Zombie, Dutiful Attendant, Finishing Blow, Plague Rizalka, Sanitarium Skeleton, We've got the Thriving Maw, and the very cool Swamp. Okay, so I think they were saying all up there are probably over a hundred different combinations of decks, like unique decks, so that could take you a while to collect those. Maybe that's part of their devious plan. Okay, now the rest. You might say, where are the other patrons? The patron is me. I'm giving these to the channel. So I'm going to have quite a library of uh, half decks here. Let's see what we got. Starting off with Legion. Lena, Selfless Champion. Okay, Mentor of the Meek. Siege Striker. Faith's Fetters, Selfless Savior. Basri's Solidarity. Valorous Steed. Daybreak Charger. Makeshift Battalion. Fortify. Legion's Judgment. Okay, so this is all about a Legion of Humans, I guess. Thriving Heath. Raise the Alarm. And legions of soldiers there on the plains. Okay, so that is the first one for the channel. On to the next. And if any patrons have missed out on this, uh, feel free to contact me. I still have some extra packs, so I can do some more openings for you. Okay, devilish. Okay, we've seen this one before. Oh, and I think this is a little different. Zerzoth Chaos, Chaos Rider. It's a mouthful. Traitorous Greed, Chained Brute. Spiteful Prankster, Tybalt's Rager, Havoc Jester, Hobble Fiend, Pitchburn Devils, Collateral Damage, 
Heart Fire Thriving Bluff Torch Fiend. A couple of those. And the Devilish Mountain. Okay, so I can't really remember if how similar that one was to the other. Leave a note in the comments if you think it was different. Um, we've pulled that one a couple of times, I believe, in the previous videos. On to the next. Vampires! Ooh, this one, I think. Drana, Liberator of Malakir Mythic. Yes, this one is pretty spicy indeed. Silver Smoke Ghoul, if it's one I'm thinking of, or maybe it's a variant. Blood Bond Vampire. Falconrath Noble. Gifted Aetherborn. There's a tasty one. Sanguine Indulgence. Agonizing Siphon. Child of Night. Last Gasp. Mark of the Vampire. Nocturnal Feeder. Got the Thriving Maw. Gloom Sower. And a Vampiric Swamp. Looks like we've got a castle in the background there. Okay, so that one... I think is a little bit uh, different than the one we saw previously. So a nice bit of variety. We did get that mythic though, that was pretty cool. So what will we see in the next one? Doctor! Alright! Any Doctor Who fans in the audience, leave a note in the comments. Okay, Speaker of the Heavens, Griffin Airy, Light of Promise, Bright Mare, Faith's Fetters, Swift Response, Revitalize, Anointed Chorister. Okay, so this one seems to have a lot of uh, life gain. Bulwark, Giant, Mesa Unicorn, which incidentally there is a Unicorn deck. Keep our eyes peeled for that. Take Heart, Thriving Heath, I think that's probably one of the rarer ones actually. Basri's Acolyte, and a very cool Plains. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Rearrange things a little, make some room here. On to the next one. So, were you able to participate in an event at your local game store or remotely? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, so we've got Spooky again. Liliana's Standard Bearer. Okay, this one is different than the others. Malefic Scythe. Barter in Blood, Bone Picker, Eternal Taskmaster. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, we'll just get through. If it looks pretty much the same, I'm not going to go reading the card names. Village Rights, that one's different. And of course the Swamp there. So we will get some duplication in this box. Hopefully not too much, but as we've seen, you can get a lot of variation even within the themes. Okay, okay, so we've got the Doctor again. Cradle of Vitality, okay, so this is a different half of a deck. Path of Bravery, that's new as well. Griffin Airy, Alabaster Mage, Brightmare, Stonehaven Pilgrim, Swift Response, Revitalize, Anointed Chorister, Angel of Mercy, Bulwark Giant, Thriving Heath, Bezri's Acolyte. Okay, so there were some differences there. Take note. There will not be a quiz at the end. Okay, so I have no idea how many packs we've got left. We're probably well over halfway through though by this point. Dogs! Here they are! So we have the dogs, we have the cats, we've got a pack leader. Other dogs you control get plus one, plus one. Selfless Saviour, Afagard Hound. Release the dogs, Supply Runners. Secure the scene. Feet of Resistance, Alpine Watchdog, Cathar's Companion, Rambunctious Mutt, Trusty Retriever, Pacifism, Thriving Heath, and the Dog Land. Okay, so that is one of the better lands. I think my favourite though has got to be the Phyrexian Swamp. Does anyone disagree? Leave a note in the comments if you have a preferred special land from Jumpstart. I'm wondering what the unicorn one will look like. Maybe we'll come across that to minions. Okay, I have not seen minions yet. We got a mythic, nice ghoul cooler geezer or geyser. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Witch's cauldron eliminate. 
Gourmand, Liliana's devotee, innocent blood, fetid imp, dutiful attendant, ghoul caller's accomplice, nocturnal feeder, shambling goblin creature, zombie goblin, yes, I do love the goblins, we got the thriving moor here, village riots, very creepy, and a very creepy swamp, okay, I guess that fits in with the minions, Okay, so let's take a look. We have six more packs left, people. I think we're making decent time, considering I'm going through everything. And you might have noticed I haven't put the prices up in this video. There's simply too many cards, a lot of value in here, and the prices are all over the place. And Angels, I was wondering when I would find this one. Very nice. We've got a Mythic Linvala, Keeper of Silence. This is fantastic. Angelic Arbiter, Angelic Ascension, Emancipation Angel, Sarah Angel, the classic Guardian Idol, Angelic Page, Anointed Chorister, Angelic Edict, Scroll of Avacyn, Take Heart, got the Thriving Heath Celestial Enforcer, and a very serene plains there with the sun, looks like those feathers there. Oh, that could be a wing, an angel wing, all right. Very nice indeed. Okay, so let me just fling the packs around now. I think it's about that time in the video where the Muppet Hands make an appearance. You might have come across the Muppet Hands before in my videos. They happen from time to time. Archaeology. Okay, so what do we have here? We got a Scarecrow, artifact creature Scarecrow. Should have called that a Scarecrow Witch, I think. Buried Ruin, Juggernaut, Meteor Golem, Scuttle Mutt, Thirst for Knowledge, Aether Spellbomb, there's a nice one, Short Sword, Archimander, a couple of those, Lightning Core Excavator, Thriving Isle, Jousting Dummy, Signpost Scarecrow, and an Island, okay. So I think, yeah, this was mostly artifacts. So it is a mono blue deck. That's very curious. Pop him over there. Down to the last four half decks here. Well read. Okay. We have a mystic archaeologist. Read the runes, so this is one for the bookworms out there. Talarian Kraken, very much on theme. Curiosity, Onirophage, Suspicious Bookcase. Capture Sphere, that's what you do with your Pokemon people. Tome, Anima, Library Larcenist, Opt, Cloud Reader, Sphinx, Rune Servitor, Thriving Isle, and an island full of books. What else would they have there? And I think the blue fits in well with the theme. Okay, so pop that over there. So we're getting some good variety here. No complaints so far, but I'm still looking for the unicorn. Where is the unicorn? Dragons! All right, I'll take dragons any day. That's pretty cool. Lathless Dragon Queen. Nice. Gadrak the Crown Scourge, Hellkite Punisher, Rapacious Dragon, Draconic Roar, Dragon Lord Servant, Creature Goblin Shaman, and there he is buried under all that food. Hilarious Furnace Whelp, Dragon Fodder, Dragon Hatchling, Lightning Shrieker, Sarkans Rage, Thriving Bluff, and a Mountain with a Shadow of a Dragon. Uh, that reminds me of Game of Thrones, uh, with all those dragons flying around the place. Okay, last two packs, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And will the Muppet hands appear? I'm not sure. I think we're good. Oh, Liliana, fantastic. Okay, and Liliana, Wake of the Dead, Mythic. Okay, this one is pretty cool. So we've got Liliana's Standard Bearer, Liliana's Elite, okay, Settle the Score, there she is again, Gourmand, 
Liliana's devotee rise again. Okay, so a lot of graveyard stuff here. Blighted bat. Cemetery recruitment. Don't do it. Don't go with her. Ghoul razor. Thriving more. Wearing ghoul. Okay then. Liliana's steward. That guy's uh, after he's finished wailing, I think. And a very nice swamp indeed. Okay, so we've got all the Liliana stuff there. So this is tough. Which one would you pick? Is your favorite here? Uh, so for me, let's see, dragons, Liliana, goblins, obviously, is a good one. Um, angels, vampires. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. What will we see in the final one? Will it be the mythical unicorn? It is not. It is under the sea. Okay, so we've got the Pursued Whale again, Whelming Wave, Cryptic Serpent, Sigiled Starfish, Unstable Obelisk, Waker of Waves, Octo Prophet, Sweep Away, Thriving Isle, Water Knot, Wishful Merfolk, Aegis Turtle, and the Underwater Island there. So how can it be an island if it's underwater? I have no idea. Okay, so there we have it. There is our first box of Jumpstart. It could be a good long while before we open more because there's a bit of a supply issue right now. So like I said, check out your local Walmart or Target or your local game store should actually be your first stop. So if they have any packs, you can participate in one of the events. That would be very cool. So let me know in the comments what you think of this product. What is your favorite deck here? Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.